Hi, I'm Gary Strigler, and the first thing I want to do is kind of apologize that the quality of this video is not going to be quite as good as what we've been trying to turn out. But I had this opportunity to share something, which is one of those things as you go along, sometimes you have to figure out a way to do something, and I just like to try and share those as soon as that happens. So this is a Murphy bed and some cabinet projects that I've been working on, and Part of the challenge of the project was I wanted to try to match some antique doors that were in the room. So this cabinet door is what I came up with. It's a mitered corner door and it's also one inch thick. So there's several special things going on with this door. But the thing that was most challenging for me, it is a raised panel door but I didn't have the shaper cutter. I've got two or three raised panel shaper cutters, but I didn't have the one to match this profile. So what I want to share is how I made that. So this is kind of your normal raised panel profile. This actually material is a little bit thick. A lot of times instead of full three quarters, you use 11 16th MDF for raised panels, but again, you got a big shoulder there. What I did was take a piece of half inch material and run it so that I didn't get any shoulder, I just got that bevel. So that got me to the point where I could add the other profile, which is this profile piece. So Here's the piece of half inch MDF. And I'm gonna just roughly hold this. I came in about a quarter of an inch and I just took another piece of half inch MDF and used what I would call a classical bit. That is a router bit that has the uh, cove cut right next to the bearing. And that gave me a really good looking raised panel. And I guess the thing that I'm excited about this is you can make multiple different options of looking raised panels. You could, you know, change up the amount like right there. I've got about maybe a half inch of flat showing. You could obviously change up that profile too. So for me, I just wanted to share this is something that I kind of ran to a challenge and I figured out something that worked for me. And I hope it'll also work for you sometime again. Just because you don't have exactly the cutter, the tooling that you need, a lot of times there's a way that you can work around it.